This program has a rich history. We've been around for 102 years. We first got started in 1920 by Ellis Clark. He's who our whole program's named after. And it just started out as a class at Woodbury High School, teaching kids how to help their parents on the farm. And it turned into this, where we have a multitude of different program opportunities. I knew I wanted to be a vet. I didn't know how or what type of animals, but I just knew like, this place had animals, I wanna go here. So it really was just these girls and all the other animals here that kind of drove me to come. My checklist in the morning is, do I have all my extra snacks because it's long days? Do I have my boots? Forgetting your boots is awful. Do I have my extra clothes? It's highly, highly recommended to have an extra pair of clothes at all times because you never know when an animal might go into labor or there's an emergency and you might have to move feed troughs in the mud. From the minute I was able to be signed up for sports, I have done everything. I ended up focusing on softball, swimming, and volleyball. Although ag takes up a big portion of my life and takes a lot of hours of sleep, I still couldn't just give up sports. This morning I actually went from my vet class where we were suturing chicken legs um, right into my forensics class and telling my forensics class, yeah, sorry, I might smell a little bit. I have chicken juice on me. When I first started with the cows and I got paired with Lily, I told my mom, I was like, mom, I met Lily today. I really love Lily. She's my best friend. And my mom thought I was talking about a person for the first 10 minutes of the conversation before she realized that it was actually an animal. Depending on the day, it's just really fun to tell my friends back and see more like the different things I do. Oh, I dissected a pig fetus or something. It's okay. Little stereotypical things. I've had people approach me saying, oh, so you had hay bale toss at, at, for your 8 a.m. class and then at 10 o'clock you're milking cows. There's more than just that. Ag is such a diverse thing. You could ask any kid here and they'd probably have a slightly different answer. See you, Walker. We have the most diverse range of livestock opportunities compared to the other high schools in the state. Being able to enhance my love for livestock, especially the beef cows and sheep and horses and all that, really drove me to want to be some type of large animal vet. Whether that's at a USDA plant, making sure the animals are healthy before they go to be slaughtered, or where you drive around stopping at people's farms. It does get very tiring when you might be in a horse management class, you know, moving hay bales and then have practice. But it's all part of the experience. So honestly, sports are just a great stress reliever. With livestock, you can't be super crazy loud, sporadic movements. It's more like quiet and calm. So having that balance between like the quiet and calm competition to like the screaming and intense competition is just a great thing for me. And I'm glad that I was able to work out a balance between the two. This was the best decision possible being able to come down after school in my softball practice clothes, working with the cow and then going onto the softball field right after. Sometimes I didn't get a chance to wipe the poop off of me. You know, just things like that that are just so unique to hear. I wouldn't change my decision for anything.